Hey YouTube, I just got done making a video with my good friend Aaron. He has a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection. He is super knowledgeable. Um, he gives some really good information in this video. Uh, hope you enjoy. of the mouser and the giant crane this is all the very original turtle figures so this is series one here and they're with they're on their sewer oh, that's uh, awesome the sewer layer yeah how so, much do you think all those are worth the only reason that these guys are worth anything is because they're what you call soft heads uh-huh so the original the very very original Turtles had literally had soft heads. So if you squeeze their heads, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah. It's soft. It literally is soft. So the ones after that are hard. The heads are hard on them. Okay. Yeah. Solid plastic. So all of these are soft head originals with the exception of April back in there. And the very original April uh -huh. has no striping. Pull her out. I'll probably never get her back in. So see the colors and the stripes? Yeah. She's just in a yellow jumpsuit and she has no stripes. So that would be the original April is with no stripes. How so, much does the original one go for? The original April is pretty valuable because all the boys wanted the turtles and the villains. Yeah. No, nobody wanted April. Sure. So she is pretty valuable because she's more scarce. Uh huh. These guys right here, complete, loose, good condition, are probably like... 25 bucks each would be my okay. guess right now. Good. So this stuff right here, these came in the little canisters of ooze, the original canisters oh, of ooze. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So there were actually four different things you could get. So if you just bought the basic ooze, the green ooze, the I think it was like the turtle ooze or turtle retromugen ooze, it could have had any of those three that are there in it. So you got a little splinter. A little uh, glow-in-the-dark turtle, mm -hmm. and then a little standing turtle. So they call these guys ooze babies. That's like the oh, yeah. term for it, ooze babies. And this guy glows in the dark. This guy right here is my original ooze baby from like <laughs> 1989. Okay. So this is that's why he's kind of discolored and, and uh, dirty looking. But he's priceless to me. These guys are valuable. This guy is worth like maybe 40, 50 bucks. Oh, wow. Himself. These are worth 25, 30, and he's worth probably 30, 35 bucks. Probably at a garage sale, someone didn't know anything. They could probably yeah. pick them up like super cheap. Exactly. Yeah, because they yeah. wouldn't even look like they'd be worth anything. Exactly. And you know, that can of ooze itself is worth, just the empty can is worth 100 End bucks. End of the series of Ninja Turtles when Ninja Turtles started dying down and yeah. X Men and Spider Man were starting to get popular again in the early 90s. They started winding down the Turtles sets. And I can say this from personal experience. I stopped buying Ninja Turtles in like 93 when I was a kid. And yeah. switched over to X-Men and Spider-Man. So these guys right here. One, two, three, four, five. These are some of the most valuable Ninja Turtle figures. Other than crazy variants. These are just your standard figures. Uh huh. This is um, Half Court, the giraffe. This is Scratch, the cat. There's Sandstorm the camel, there's Hot Spot the dog, and then Mona Lisa, Raphael's love interest. <laughs> these are from one of the last series, and these were some of the more limited ones. With Scratch right here being famous for being one of the most val valuable figures. I'm going to move Half Court. I like Half Court a lot. I think he's cool. Oh, yeah. This, he's got bees on his basketball. But Scratch right here is an easy 500 bucks for just him with no accessories. Are you $500? Yeah, 500 bucks for this guy. This accessory I have for him is actually a reproduction. And they're, anybody with any kind of credibility, if they reproduce a weapon for you, it won't be the original color. Sure. You can see it's like translucent and glittery. Yeah. That way you know. Now, how much would it be worth if he had the original accessory with? If he was loose with all of his accessories, he'd probably be about eight or 900 bucks. Oh, my gosh. So just hit this little gun right here would cost you at least 100, 150 bucks yeah. if you were just going to buy it. So just him by himself is worth 500 bucks right now. And then Hotspot, 
is the the second most valuable standard turtle figure and he is probably in 300 bucks uh, with all of his accessories four or five hundred bucks I've got his original axe and I've got his uh, his gas mask I don't display him with his gas mask I think he personally I think he looks kind of stupid as he is yeah he looks even worse with the gas mask on so I just display him like this and he's not in perfect condition but his joints are pretty tight so oh yeah that's neat. good yes yeah. a, lot of, a lot of my old figures their joints are super loose that's a big thing with turtle figures is we just abused them as kids so if you can find them with tight joints that helps out a lot sure because that way you can display them without them falling over and then uh mona lisa there the mm -hmm. the lizard lady she's probably like uh as of now she's probably like a 75 five dollar figure okay and it's kind of like April O'Neil. Nobody wanted her because she's a chick. So in reality, she may be more limited than Scratch and Hotspot. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they're kind of mixed in here, but there's there's um, some of like the chrome variants of figures. Sure. Are pretty interesting. This is, uh, there's Bebop and Rocksteady. So oh, I love those. So it's robotic Bebop and Rocksteady. Um, there's the there's those two, and then there's the original soft head Bebop and Rocksteady right there. Yeah, so, yeah, you can see that how close they are. And around the same time, they did these guys here. These are robotic foot soldiers. Oh yeah. So they remember like, the foot soldiers. Yeah. So there's this guy, and there's I've got five of the foot soldiers piling out of the pipe up here on top. Oh okay. Yeah. So those are the original. So this guy is it's the original mold, but he's chromed out. And they're really hard to find in good condition. How much does one in good condition probably go for? One of these guys with all their accessories loose is probably 50 to $75. Foot soldiers are really popular because people want to be, uh, they want to army build with them. Mm -hmm. So like me, for example, I've got five of the regular foot soldiers there. Yeah, it's kind of like with Star Wars and the Stormtroopers. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So these guys were, um, are pretty rare, pretty hard to find. This is another one that's really hard to find, and he's one of the few that I have virtually no accessories for. This is Warrior Michelangelo, is what he was called. I love it. So, you see he's got Mikey's colors, he's got yeah. the orange. This belt actually isn't his original belt. So, all he is is a chromed out, different colored version of Metalhead, who's right here. And oh, okay, yeah. Metalhead was, I think, from the second series of figures. And he's just Donatello's creation that is a turtle ally. So for the Warrior series, they did a chromed out version of him and called him Warrior Michelangelo. So it was probably just really a cash grab to get people to spend more money. And all they had to do was repaint an existing figure. I think one, we were talking about this a little bit ago, the big takeaways for me is that some of these characters, I obviously recognize the turtles, but like, Characters like this, I would never have imagined that they were uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters. Like this yeah. dude here, or Pizza Face, or even th this guy there. You know, some of the, like I just would have thought they were for some toy series I never heard of before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's some pretty lame looking figures. Like if you want to talk about these two, you would never. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Look at these two. <laughs> there's no way I would have guessed those are they're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters. These are these are April April O'Neil's homies. That's Irma. And that's uh, Vern. <laughs> and there's one that's even better that I don't have named uh, Burn. Or no, this is Vernon. Burn is the one I don't have. Burn is like permanently got a sandwich in his hand. And he's got like toilet paper stuck to his shoe. Now, how many of these are you missing to have like the complete like set of all these uh, insulated so, characters? I pretty much have every single individual character uh -huh. here. Like, the focus of my collection is I really don't want to delve into getting all of the really silly figures and I can show you because I actually have some of them. Okay. But like this is an example of one is Green Beret Raphael. I don't want all of the military turtles. Uh-huh. Alright. There's Sailor Michelangelo. I don't I like these two, I don't want them all. There's wrestling Michelangelo. Oh yeah, I see what I you're like talking I like him because he has the snake and I'm a big reptile guy. So I don't want to delve into those waters and get every single variant of turtles because mm -hmm. honestly this room would be floor to ceiling if that was the case. So I wanted to keep it manageable with my characters. 
But if there was an individual character that they ever made, I wanted to get him, even if it is a silly one like Irma or Vernon. And I like how you got everything displayed too. Yeah, everything. it's a challenge to display this many figures. Yeah, you do you decide what so accessories you, are going to He's got the on. black shelf, and then you have the little clear uh, acrylic risers. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the few things that I kept was a mostly complete Technodrome. Now, how many like vehicle things did the turtles come with? You know, obviously Joe's and Star Wars. We had a ton of that stuff. Insane amounts of vehicles. Really? Yeah, just absolutely insane amounts. Um, this was uh, this was the base for uh, Shredder uh -huh. and Krang. So the whole thing opened up. Oh yeah. You got like jail cells in there. Um, the eyeball on top moves around. <laughs> uh, the only thing that this is missing is a computer screen. And I'm not entirely sure. Um, I need to I need to do some homework and figure out what it looks like and where it goes. But I happen to know that it's missing from this. Um, but otherwise, oh, yeah. otherwise, all of these it little things. It looks like it's most, most everything it needs. Yeah, as far as I know, everything else is in here. Um, I may have to do some homework and... Somebody, somebody may chime in and tell you that I'm actually missing some other pieces. Now, uh, how much does this uh, go for online right now? Complete, they're not crazy expensive um, because I guess they were easier to keep up with this big thing than little figures with little accessories. But like a hundred and fifty bucks, I think, Ooh. two, maybe two hundred dollars for a complete. Really and nice. That's, that looks like it's in really good condition. Too. Yeah, it's in really good shape. Uh, I'm really. This is. I wanted this one for a long time, and I'm glad I have it. I was actually able to complete this with some of my pieces from my original yeah. Technodrome. Like, this piece right here came from my very original one. That was pretty much all that was left of That's kind of cool that you can take some of your, your original stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was happy to be able to complete it with some of that. Yeah. It's the same thing it makes with Makes it those. a little special, yeah. Some of those figures up here, I bought them incomplete and completed them with my weapons. Oh, is that Bebop there? Yeah, yeah. So that's the, uh, that's the giant Bebop. And I actually won him on a raffle and I had Rocksteady's machine gun, uh -huh. but I don't have Rocksteady. Oh. So I gotta get Rocksteady. That's a must for me. So I'll probably pay up and have to get Rocksteady. But most of the time these were all beat to hell. Um, a lot of times they were missing their weapons, mm -hmm. so I was able to get him. I actually won a raffle to get him. I think I remember you telling me, was it on Facebook or something? Yeah, Facebook. I think it was like, I think I put in one ticket for five bucks and ended up winning him. And how much does he go for? He's probably, with the weapon, he's probably like a hundred bucks. So, without the weapon, the weapon itself is probably like 25 to $50. No, I believe it, yeah. yeah. So they're, it's really common to find them just like this with no accessories, but to have that, that weapon, weapon, yeah. That. One last thing. If you enjoy the videos, don't forget to click and subscribe. Appreciate it. See ya.